for those who don't know, one of my most popular projects is uh, Free Space Nav. It's uh, a driver for uh, GNU Linux and other Unix systems for six degrees of freedom uh, input devices. Uh, devices such as uh, this uh, space pilot, which can be used to navigate uh, in 3D space uh, fluidly, in, uh, both, uh, both rotating and translating at the same time, um, without having to change modes. So for example, this is one of the example programs which uh, comes with uh, SpaceNav. Um, and you can rotate and translate uh, objects in 3D space very easily. Uh, or navigate in 3D space. The company which makes this uh, six degrees of freedom uh, input devices currently is uh, 3D Connection. And um, we've had some bug reports uh, in recent years about some of their newest, uh, uh, newest devices um, which uh, can work either uh, in uh, wired or wireless mode. And we have some bug reports that uh, SpaceNavD doesn't, uh, doesn't work correctly with them in, in wireless mode. And uh, they can only be used in wired mode. So recently I reached out to 3D Connection and uh, asked them if they were willing to donate one of the wireless devices to the SpaceNav project. Uh, to see if I can fix uh, whatever the issue with uh, uh, using those devices in wireless mode is. And they were uh, kind enough to, to oblige. And I just received uh, a package from them today, so I thought I should uh, do a uh, sort of unboxing. Um, I received th three devices from them. One, as I understand it, is the, the, the standard device they sent to uh, developer partners. And uh, this doesn't really help me with debugging the wireless uh, issue because it is actually a wired device. Uh, but it is an interesting device though, and it, it actually it's probably the newer version of my space pilot, which was also, by the way, donated by a user of the, of the project uh, a few years ago. And uh, so yeah, let's, let's start with this one and see what uh, the box contains. So I'm not going to go through everything, obviously, because that's going to be extremely boring. But I'm curious what this is. Oh! I guess that's a mouse pad. That's mm, certainly not necessary for uh, uh, six degree of freedom devices, but I guess it's uh, for their mouse, which I'm not going to use. Actually, no, I might use it. I also use a, a wireless uh, Logitech mouse at the moment, and actually 3D Connection is a subsidiary of Logitech, so maybe it's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice mouse. Okay, so that's certainly very similar to my current mouse, a bit bigger. Yeah, I will try that out at some point. What else do we have here? That's the cable for the main device. Ooh, ah, that's very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, it's actually very similar to, to, to this one. This is the, the newer version of that, I guess. So, yes. Very interesting. This is not going to help me with, uh, with a wireless problem, though. Oh, and something is in here. I guess batteries for the mouse. Or not. What is this? Some sort of so we have two USB ports here and the U and micro mini or whatever it's called USB on the other side and the, I guess the wireless receiver for the for the mouse. So the second device that I received 
which is going to be very helpful with uh, the issue we're facing. Is a space mouse wireless. This looks very similar to the old uh, Space Navigator device, which I have one of those. That was my first uh, Six Degree of Freedom device that I ever got. But I guess this is the newer. Oh, and it comes in a nice, uh, nice case as well. Nice, very nice. Is that? The Oh, that's the, the on-off switch because it's a wireless device, obviously, and those are the two buttons, exactly like the old uh, Space Navigator, which is pictured right there. Right there. Alright. And it comes with a wireless, uh, wireless dongle and uh, a wire. So, uh, presumably, this is going to work with a, with a wire, but not with a wireless dongle. I'm going to try that in a second. Uh, yeah, let's leave that for now. And the box is also very similar to the old Space Navigator box. I have one over there. And also they sent me, for some reason, they sent me a, a third package, which is this keyboard. Uh, now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be frank. I'm uh, a Model M guy, and uh, there is zero chance I'm gonna use this keyboard. But let's just unbox that one as well for completeness. There we go. That's necessarily a bigger box. <laughs> a quick start guide for a keyboard. Okay. Yeah, as I thought, those are uh, typical laptop keys. Not too bad, actually. I mean, for, for laptop, I've seen worse. I have my uh, my MacBook Retina has uh, uh, worse feeling laptop keys, but yeah, I'm, I'm, this is not going to replace uh, my Model M anytime soon. And also comes with a separate numpad, I guess. Is this wireless? No, it has a USB connection as well. Okay. All right. So let's put uh, all this uh, stuff aside oh, and the USB cable. And let's try the new devices. See if they actually work with Space Navi at the moment. I will start with uh, the big one. And uh, my expectation is that. This one should probably work because wired, wired devices. Um, I, I haven't had any any bug reports about uh, using those wired devices. And plug the new one in. Also, let me remove the plastic. Uh, oh, that's an extensive. Yeah, a screen protector. Does it work without having to do anything else? It does. Okay, so that's uh, that's good news, and it was expected. I did expect for this to work uh, immediately. Ooh, it's a bit uh, snappier than the other. No, actually, it's it's about the same. Excellent. Let's try the smaller one in wired mode. And I also fully expect this one to work in wired mode as well. So I guess uh, this goes here and then this plugs into the USB port and do I have to turn it on or does it automatically it, it automatically turns on in wired mode 
Okay, so let's see now. Yep, it works without issue. Ooh, that one is a bit more sensitive. Excellent. Now, how does this work in wireless mode? I guess I'll have to find that dongle. Here it is. Okay, so I'll plug the dongle in, and then I guess turn it on. Is it detected? Oh, it is! What the hell? Alright. So, the good news is, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> it works. Okay, so here is the latest uh, bug report that I had, which uh, concluded with uh, uh, this user having, having to use his device in, in wireless... Uh, I'm sorry, in wired mode as opposed to wireless, because it wouldn't work in wireless mode. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I guess I'll have to ask for some follow-up questions and see if uh, we can figure out what's what's wrong in his end. Because for me, as you saw, I just plugged it in and it worked uh, immediately. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to 3D Connection for donating these devices. Even though the wireless uh, problem didn't manifest in my case for uh, this specific device, um, I guess there is another uh, wireless device that 3D Connection makes. Maybe the problem uh, has to do with that one. Or maybe it's a user error. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Uh, but uh, the devices are going to be useful, especially this one. I'm going to try and uh, uh, utilize the, the display that it has and uh, maybe find some way to use that in SpaceNavD as well. And uh, thank you for watching.